Hey guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about some more modern day feminists who are really upset with the trad wives who make these videos online where they cook and clean in a pretty dress and uh, it, makes, it makes them very angry for whatever reason. I found this article from CNN that I want to take a look at. But before we start, please make sure you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So here's the post. Sporting retro 50s hairstyles and cinched aprons, trad wife influencers have taken over a pocket of the internet. These traditional wives who showcase 30 second videos of homemade sourdough bread. I hate sourdough bread. I hate sourdough bread. I don't know how people eat it. You're eating sour bread. <laughs> Anyways, and other glimpses into the making of a perfect home are no ordinary stay at home moms. They steadfastly believe in traditional gender roles. That means staying devoted to housework and taking care of the children and being subservient to their working husbands. So here are the videos that they're talking about, ready? Here's all the food I made my husband for Super Bowl Sunday. I started off by making myself a blueberry thyme mocktail. Let's make some lasagna from scratch. We're about to make the best roasted tomato okay. soup. Okay, she's cooking food. Butter. Brand. from scratch There's just nothing that i mean i think that's home. impressive she's not saying that you have to do that nowhere in any of her videos does she say you have to make everything from scratch you have to cook for the entire family every single day or you're not a real woman or anything like that german and south african and her model husband is lucky blue they're both mormons living in la i never thought i'd be 22 with three kids three and under but it's been a very wild ride that i'm so excited for my husband doesn't cook I told him I was craving a steak dinner tonight, but I was just too tired to make that. So he told me to sit down and that he would take over tonight and make me dinner for once. The great thing about feminism is that it does give you the choice. If you want to be a trad wife, be a trad wife. If you don't want to be a trad wife, don't be one. If you want to be a girl boss, be a girl boss. They're probably actually insecure about the way that they live their life because there's no reason to be upset. She's not saying, listen, all women, you have to do this. If you don't do this, you're a failure. No, it's actually the modern day feminists that are going onto her videos saying that she's brainwashed, that she shouldn't be promoting this. If it makes her happy, what's wrong with that? Shortly after Anita Templeton got married at 26, she had her first child and quit her job to become a full-time homemaker. She embodied the trad wife lifestyle for 10 years. At 4 a.m., she would start making bread and begin prep for the day's meals whoa always from scratch the mother of four would do all the household chores while her husband focused solely on breadwinning now after escaping a life that was miserable and unfulfilling templeton said she was raised as an evangelical christian believing that a husband had authority over his wife but today she is a divorced single mom by choice and advocates for women who wish to break free from a relationship dynamic that all too easily can create an extreme power imbalance okay i think we're past that point um, Anitza. I think women know that they don't have to wake up at 4 a.m. and do all the chores and take care of the children and the husband doesn't help at all. I think we passed that period in time, at least here in America, where women know they have the choice to either work more and have a more equal distribution with the house chores, with taking care of the children. You're telling me that because of a 30 second video you saw of trad wives making bread, you thought, okay, I'm going to have to wake up at 4 a.m. every single day and make sourdough bread? You chose to do that for whatever reason. It didn't work out for you. And now you're blaming, what, trad wives on TikTok? Social media can make everything look really pretty because it's a 30 second clip. Yeah, much like the girl bosses who then actually go to their car and cry and are starting to pose that part as well, where they're actually unfulfilled with their life and soon realize that working non-stop because they're told that that's the only way to succeed in life if you fall into this trad wife nightmare then you're going to be miserable then they choose not to get married not to have children actually you should take a look for yourself what you want to prioritize in life is family important to you is your career important to you and not base it off of tiktoks there are also a bunch of these videos making fun of the trad wives i woke up extra early to prepare breakfast for my 455 month old husband i woke up at 3 a.m. to prepare a fresh loaf of bread. I just wanted to share with you how much better my life is than yours. Everything in this video is homemade and homegrown from our homestead farm. Looks like French toast is ready. Whoops, he sent me back because I'm a stupid, stupid girl who forgot that he likes his food in little pieces when he eats it in bed. <laughs> just as I would chuckle at the videos making fun of modern day feminists who hate men, who say we don't need men, who refuse to see the difference between men and women and realize that actually, yes, we do need both men and women. We are different, but we complement each other. Um, it's also funny to laugh at how the trad wives do tend to, you know, 
take it a little too far for most people. Like most people will not be getting up super early to make everything from scratch for their 10 kids. That's not ideal. But for them, if it works, if they're happy, if they like it, what's the problem? This morning I asked my toddlers what they wanted for breakfast and they both said cereal. So cereal it was and we got started right away. If her kids fancy it, she will make it from scratch. I made two types of cereal, a chocolate chip cookie one and a cocoa puff one. What is the problem? Isn't that what feminism is about? To give women the choice? Or has it become all women should act like men because we don't need men? No one is holding a gun to these women's heads and saying you have to make the bread. You have to wear the dress and film yourself cooking. Maybe they like cooking. Maybe they like cleaning. Maybe they like cooking and cleaning for their children, for their husbands. So what? So they let the husband be the breadwinner, the provider, and then they tend to take care of all of the chores, cook and clean, do the laundry, you know, take care of the children, dressing modestly, you know, things like that. And then the husband, which is very interesting to me because I don't hear, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say trad husband, but you know, uh, using common sense, the husband would also be a traditional husband. And if that kind of relationship works for you, that's fantastic. How to become a traditional wife, embracing ultra traditional gender roles into your marriage. The man, he is the provider, the main breadwinner, he goes out of the house and works. The wife, she is the homemaker. She takes care of the home. She takes care of herself and she does the cooking and the cleaning. Now, one thing that I think is important is to think about what you would do if God forbid anything were to happen to your trad husband. If you're relying on his income, if you have many children, right? And you don't have a job. If unfortunately something were to happen, a uh, divorce, husband passes away, just as for the trad husband, it's important for him to know how to take care of himself, to realize that the laundry won't just fold itself, that you would have to wash the dishes, take care of your your children if something were to happen to the wife. So goes both ways because life is unpredictable, okay? So you'd have to think about that. I, I think that's a an important part of all this because yes, of course, uh, young women may see this trad wife. She completely relies on the husband. He works, she doesn't work and then think, okay, that sounds like I, I would like that. You know, I, that would make me happy. There should be some level of independence for both men and women for the sake of you and for the sake of your children. Also, when things go too much into the extreme. So when people are shamed for not being stereotypically feminine or masculine, which nowadays it's more so the opposite where, you know, they see this in a pretty dress cooking for her family and they just get mad and it just annoys them so much. So without forcing anyone to take on a certain role in a marriage or in the family, uh, we can still acknowledge that this sort of setup has worked for many years throughout history. No, it's not perfect and it did not work for everyone, but there seems to be something to it. Women tend to be more empathetic or taking care of the children in terms of biology, right? We are different. And so for most women, I think that could work for sure. Also, everyone is different. Not all men are super assertive and stoic all the time and want this kind of setup, not all women are gonna be these hyper feminine, you know, cooks and everyone is going to have a different preference for who they want to marry. They're gonna be attracted to different things. So you can take certain aspects from this trad wife, trad husband lifestyle and some you realize, okay, that part's not for me. What's the problem? Maybe you as the husband, you love to cook. You wanna cook for your family. Maybe you wanna stay at home with the kids more. Maybe you, the wife, you love your job. You're totally fine with providing for the family. Okay. Congrats, that's awesome, good for you. Another problem we see with these modern day feminists is that they want the best of both worlds. So they wanna work, they wanna be super independent, they don't want to cook or clean or anything like that, but they also expect the man to pay. What are you bringing to the table? A lot of what we hear is, well, I'm just gonna show up. That's all that I need to do. There's no balance there. Okay, you're expecting so much of the guy and you just show up. Because then the women, they start to view the man as a wallet. And the men, they start to view the women as a dishwasher. I don't think either version <laughs> is gonna make you happy because there are a few people that don't want to be viewed as human beings. It's gonna be hard to find someone who is gonna be okay with that, okay? So you have to see the other person, man or woman, as a person. The expectations for the men are the same. So it's not like, okay, I'm working, so you don't have to provide for me in that way anymore. No, it's like the guy has to pay, the guy has to have the same sort of education level or more, uh, get the same salary or more as you, because yes, women want that. But the pool of men is going to get smaller and smaller if women are working, if women are going to school, which is your right, which is great if you wanna do that, but then you can't expect the man to also like provide for you for everything, and then you don't take on the traditional role at all. And there are some women, 
on not just YouTube, but in real life who are girl bosses in their own way, who own a business, but say that all feminism is evil. And that's a bit hypocritical when you take a look at what those women are doing to claim you're completely rejecting feminism, but then benefit from the rights that those movements gave you. To say, no, everyone should have children. Everyone needs to get married. I wouldn't say everyone. Not everyone deserves children, to be honest. For example, here's this woman who was so upset that her child was vomiting and she had to pick him up because she was making OnlyFans content at the moment. Uh, I am so pissy today. Just, just downright mother today. I had to come up here. I had to come up here at 11 o'clock in the afternoon. That's prime time. When, that's prime time. If you know what I mean. But I'm cranky because my child, my child is 10. I had to come up to the school and I had to pick him up. Why? Why did I have to pick this kid up? I had to pick this kid up because he's a man. Okay. He's a little man and he's got a weak stomach like most men do. He threw up not one time, not two times, but three times. I have to interrupt my day. Now with second wave feminism and contraception and birth control specifically, right? Now, I know that many women use it for different reasons, but what it did do, unfortunately, it did bring about this idea that sexual promiscuity is actually empowering because now you don't have to worry about getting pregnant as much at least. And so you are free to sleep around and that's actually fantastic. And then we have third wave feminism, which is, oh, LGBTQ rights, okay? We need the uh, body positivity. The trans women are the same as women and are included in the feminist movement. And if you don't believe that, then you are a, oh, a turf. I was gonna say bigot, but specifically a turf. A lot of women, uh, girl believing that men want someone that is super, super independent, like just like them, you know, we, we can do whatever a man can do. They're not looking for a copy of themselves, but in a female form, they are probably looking for someone feminine, right? <laughs> so just like women tend to look for men that are masculine, tend to, and everyone is different. But a lot of women were led to believe that they have to be uh, just like men and girl boss, and they gotta be super strong in every single way possible. And any sign of like femininity is, is bad. And that's just not the truth. And then a lot of people are actually ending up single. I just came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. They're wives and they just look like so like, you know, not like this. I pretend my tattoos are gone. I thought these men wanted like, you know, big, strong, tough girls. That's just like housewife stuff. And I'm over here like, I own my own business. I'm covered in tattoos. Damn. Got the birth rate declining too here in the West, but also um, in South Korea and Japan, it's a huge problem. I think this gender war has revealed some very, very sexist men and women. There are definitely women out there, as we see, that hate men who think we do not need them. Men? Um, no. no. We don't need short men. No. Do we need men? No. Men. I don't know why. No. Why? Because we can be strong independent women. And there are men, of course, who think that about women. The pendulum is always swinging from one side to another, and we can never find a balance. We can never find ourselves in the center, or if we do, it's it's very short-lived, and that's very unfortunate. Because saying like, oh, all women have to be in the kitchen, they can't talk, they they just be quiet and they cook and whatever. And now we're saying no, men are completely useless. They we just we don't need them. Not even okay. We might need them for like. Uh, certain jobs that women just can't do or is very difficult for women to do at least. No, we just don't need them. But then also those women don't do those jobs. Nobody needs men. Really? We do not need men. Why not? Why don't we need we men? men. Why, why would I need men? We are women. We are free. We are shut. We are women. Have no doubt. We are women. We are free. We are shut women. the fuck. The we don't need no man. Sexual promiscuity being empowering. Cooking and cleaning is the patriarchy. I mean, no, that's what's causing these problems. And that's all for today's video, guys. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Also remember to subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on X and Instagram, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.